Why do you keep disappearing from my screen? Well, you know what, kids, when you get a little bit older, I need you to establish a Wi-Fi company that's 100% better than Cable Onda. Somebody, someone of you, please do that, okay? Open a Wi-Fi internet connection company that doesn't do what Cable Onda has done to us. Please, any one of you can do that. Okay, so there you go. There's Luis Harris and Tomas Carvajal and Jamil Bu again. People, we're gonna be talking about one specific idiom. Those of you who are in the advanced writing class, we have been dealing with idioms. And an idiom, for the rest of you, is an expression that is used in a language, uh, specifically we're talking about English, that if you try to translate it word for word, it doesn't make any sense, okay? So that's an idiom. An idiom is an expression that you cannot translate exactly as it is, you just have to get the broad meaning of it. So the idiom that we're gonna be working with today is jump to conclusions, to jump to conclusions. Now, who knows what that means? What does it mean to jump to conclusions? Who knows? Anybody? I think that, I think that jump to conclusions is, is like, go to the point, like, explain what's happening right now we don't want to hear anything else like <laughs> nothing about an introduction or something like that something like in the work of of telling that <laughs> you, you just want to spell the words yeah okay almost almost who has another meaning what does it mean to jump to conclusions Casey is on the beach. <laughs> what does it mean to jump to conclusions, people? Daniel has a little bit of it, but not exactly. Okay, so let me give you an example, and then you try to get the meaning from this. An example would be, I walked into a, a supermarket, and everybody turned to look at me. And I thought it was because there was something wrong with me. I jumped to conclusions. Okay, so who wants to tell me? What does it mean? Assume things quickly. Yes, very good. To make an assumption, to assume something quickly. So yes, to jump to conclusion means that you make a judgment really quickly, okay? You make a judgment without having all the information. So if I walk into a store and everybody turns to look at me, I'm like, oh, they have something against me and it's not even about me. It's probably the person in the back or something, okay? But I jump to conclusions without having all the details of all the information. So my question to you, we're gonna watch a very short movie, five minute movie, and, and so that we can keep discussing. But my question to you, and everybody needs to answer at some point because ladies and gentlemen, we do get little grades for participating. My question to you is this, has it ever happened to you that you jump to conclusions? Yes, perfect. Who wants to tell me a story? Tell me the story of one time when you jumped to conclusions. People, this is not the class where you sit and stare at the screen. This is the class where you talk. Because if you don't talk, you're not alive. And if you're not alive, you don't have a grade. And if you don't have a grade, you're not in my class. Okay, good. Who wants to tell me? Give me an example of a time when you jumped to a conclusion. I'm going to count to 100 and wait. Me. Okay. Well, when my dad is hungry, and I think I jumped to a conclusion that he's hungry with me. Mm. Great example, Marcela. Who's next? It was Marcela who was talking, right? Because sometimes I don't see. Yeah, who's next? Who wants to give me another example?
Come on, people. Everybody jumps to conclusion at some point. Give me your story. Teacher, jump to conclusion is like a quickly judgment. Yes. Okay. It's not cat. Yeah, my cat is somewhere outside. Meow, meow, meow. Yeah, to, to make judgments quickly. Okay, I'm going to have to open the door for my cat. Give me a second. <sighs> Cats. Yes, so who wants to do this? One more person then, one more. Teacher, me. Okay, go ahead. Uh, when I see my sister crying, it's because I think she's watching a sad movie or a romance movie. Okay. So you jump to conclusion and think that it's because she's watching a sad movie, but it's not that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes she's crying for other things. <laughs> Good example. And do I have one more person? No? Nobody else? Okay. So we're going to we're going to watch a short movie. Okay? And while you watch this movie, I want you to answer this question. Two questions. So write them down if you're not going to remember. The first question is what made these two Kids in the movies, what made them different? What made them different? That's the first question. Why are they different? What makes them different? The second question is, why is it important to not jump to conclusions? Okay, the first question, what made them different? And those of you doing the silent thing, you need to talk, you know, every class is a grade. What made them different? The two kids that we're going to see in the, in the short movie, what made them different? And the second question is, why is it important to not jump to conclusions? Okay. Now, before we watch that, I have one more question for you. Do you think it's possible for us to stop jumping to conclusions or is it just something that humans do? Is it possible to stop? Mm, there are some people that kind of stop, but I think that I think that, that is natural from the human. Yeah. I think so too. I think it's a natural thing that humans just like to jump to conclusion. But is there a way that you can like do it less or not do it all the time? Do you think it's possible? I think that when you are like not interested in what what is happening in your surroundings that's an option okay so you're saying not be interested in what's happening and so then you don't jump to conclusions uh, something like that okay so remember the two questions what was it that made these kids different and the second question is why is it important to not jump to conclusions or to control yourself from jumping to conclusions okay so give me a few moments while i share my screen with you okay so we're back so who wants to be the person to give me this summary give me a summary of the story that we just watched who wants to tell me what was the story about What? Nobody, nobody understood. Okay, I'm going to start calling names. 
Alondra Victoria Díaz. What was the story about? That's like the story about a girl that has not to speak and a boy that do walk and the girl do not know that the boy cannot walk and the boy do not know that the girl don't have to speak. And the girl is looking for a boy for some time in the same place. And the girl go for a run every day to look for a boy. But one day the girl go for in the skateboard, but she failed and the boy tell her to I can help you but he is scared because he think she think if then he can she cannot speak he can um, that tell her that is so weird or things that she makes feel bad. Okay. Um, okay. Good. Very good until there, Alondra. So, Audrey, when the girl fell off the skateboard, what was the conclusion that she jumped to about the boy? When the girl fell off the skateboard in front of the boy, she got really angry because she jumped to conclusions. What was the conclusion? What did she think was wrong? Okay, Emily Valencia, the same question. When the girl fell in front of the boy, she jumped to conclusion. Remember we talking about jumping to conclusions, right? It means when you make a judgment without having all the information. So what was the conclusion that she jumped to, Emily? She thought that the boy didn't want to help her. Very good. Okay. Um, uh, Nicole, Liu, tell me. What did she discover after she had jumped to that conclusion? What did she discover about the boy? That he couldn't walk. He was uh, disabled. Yeah, he was disabled. He was in a wheelchair. He couldn't walk. Very good. And let's see. Casey. After she discovered that he couldn't walk and that he didn't help her because he couldn't walk, what did she do? Yes. Sorry, teacher. I can't, I do not see the, the short movie because my tablets, they have low battery. Okay. Okay, so the same question goes for Jamil. After she discovered that he couldn't walk, what did she do? Wait, Jamie. Okay, there you are. Teacher, um, uh, do you repeat the question? <laughs> After the girl discovered that the boy didn't help her because he couldn't move, he couldn't walk, what did she do? She going to talk with her. Um, um, uh, give me a second. Let me move the let me open the door for the cat again. Ah, oh, my goodness. Sorry about that. He's gone. Okay. Yes, what were you saying, Jamil? Is she going to talk with her for a uh, paper? Um um uh, 
uh, he he talked with with she with her. Okay, Daniela, who's taking pictures of us, Daniela. What is the, an important lesson that we can get from this short movie? That we shouldn't jump into conclusions because sometimes it isn't what we think. And it happens too much often to me. <laughs> like, some words can be, well, it depends on the person though, but we can interpret it the things we say in our manner and that person could be saying that in another way and and that's it we shouldn't think of bad things like no to the insecurities yeah yes yeah, so sometimes we like to judge people and we don't really know them and this is what happened in the story um Let's see, it's, uh, Denise, I like your hair, so let's go with you. <laughs> Denise, um, about being different, is it always, a, do you think it's always a bad thing to be different? No, because you can be different about all the other persons. Okay, good. So, Tomas Carvajal, why is it that people always tend to judge those who are different? Because the human mind is curious by nature. So they will, um, they will seek to judge those who are different uh, than them because that's how we are. Mm -hmm. Good. Isabella, what would have happened if the girl had not stayed and looked in the bushes and saw that the boy had couldn't walk, what do you think would have happened? She will continue thinking that the boy don't want to help her and she will feel bad for her mm -hmm. um, for a lot of time. Mm -hmm. She would just continue thinking he was a bad person. Very good. And um, Sean Foster, what is one thing that we can do to not jump to conclusions about people. And ask them what is happening for you to know and don't jump to conclusions. Great answer. Okay, so I want all of you to think about being different. Okay, being different. And your assignment for next, for module two, your module two assignment is about being different and how a lot of times we tend to believe that being different is bad. So when we see somebody who's different, we think the person is bad. Okay, we jump to that conclusion. So let's think about being different and I want each one of you, each and every one of you to tell me one thing that you think that makes you different from other people. People, this is an oral skills class. This is not, not a sit and stare at the teacher class. You have to speak. If you're not speaking, you shouldn't be in this class. This, it, the, the name of the class is oral. That means talking, opening your mouth. This is not about, oh, I'm not gonna say anything because I don't think my English is good. That's not the point. You're here to learn, okay? So don't just sit there and stare at the screen like you're watching a movie. I am not a movie. You're supposed to participate. So each one of you start thinking, one thing that makes you different from everybody else, okay? Now, one important thing you need to remember, all of us are humans and all of us, are, we, are, we are worth the same. We have the same value, but we are not the same. We're extremely different, okay? So when people say, oh, we're all the same, that's not true. We, are, we all have the same value and we all have the same rights, but we're not the same. We're very different. Just look at all the different faces here, okay? So think about one thing that makes you different from other people. And just tell me, I'm different because blah, blah, blah. Or what makes me different is bling, 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 whatever, okay? Start thinking, and I'm gonna start at the bottom of my screen with Emily Valencia, and then I'm gonna move towards the left. I don't know if you're, I'm sure your screen is not like mine, but 
I'm starting with Emily, then after that is Luis Harris, then Casey, and then Jamil. So start thinking, those of you in that bottom line, Emily, Luis, J Casey, and Jamil. Let's go, Emily. One thing that makes you different. I'm different because I, all days I dance. Okay. All day or every day? What do you mean? All day. Todo el día or todos los días? Which one do you mean? Every day. Every day. So you dance every day. Very good. Luis, what makes you different? Hello? Hello? Earth to Luis? Luis Harris? Continue. I'm different too. Okay, that was eloquent. <laughs> Hey, see, what makes you different? I want, I, uh, I think that that way I'm dressed because I see everything in my clothes and and I um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so what makes you different is the way you dress, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think. Okay, that's good. Jamil, what makes you different? Um my difference are uh, I I would talk more with my family. Um, I talk very very much. Okay, so you spend a lot of time with your family. Yes. Okay, so then comes Diego Lopez, Tomas Carvajal, Nicole Liu, and Daniela. Let's go, Diego. What makes you different? I'm short. What? I'm short. You're short. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. You know, I've never met you in person, so I'm short too. <laughs> Tomas, what makes you different? What makes me different is my face because it is unique amongst the 7.674 billion people on earth. Good one. Nicole? Nation. Okay. Daniela? I like little frogs, teacher. <laughs> like little frogs? Yes. Frogs as in ranas? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, that's different. Nice. Okay, so then we have Denise Fabrega, Isabella, Christian, and Sean Foster. Let's go, Denise. What makes you different? I think I'm different because when I talk in Spanish, the people say I talk too fast and they don't understand me. Okay. Isabella? Um, that I have completely different talks in my family. Completely different what? Talks? Thoughts. Oh, thoughts. Oh, okay. Christian? Uh, because I listen other type of music. And when you say other type, what do you mean? Uh, other type of, mu of music, like not like everyone, reggaeton, those things. So my friends judge me sometimes when I listen that type of music. Okay. As long as it makes you happy, who cares? Sean Foster. Uh, what makes me different is that I play video games like seven or eight hours each day, but at the same time, I'm responsible and send my homeworks on time. Excellent, Sean. 
Then we have Alondra, Marcela, and Daniel Guillén. Let's go, Alondra. What makes you different? I think it's my personality because sometimes it's so weird, but always is so different. Mm -hmm. Marcela? I, I was going to say the same thing that I remember saying. Um, my personality because I'm not like my parents. Daniel? I'm attracted to the poisons. You're attracted to poison? Is that what you said? No. Well, I like the snakes. I like. Oh, you like snakes? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's different. Okay, people, the important thing to remember is that it's okay to be different. Okay, a lot of times we think that we have to look and act like everybody else so that they can accept us. You don't. You have to accept you. If other people don't want to accept you, that's their problem, not yours. Luis, Harris, are you finally going to tell me what? We're okay. Are you finally going to tell me what makes you different? Tengo que decirle la diferencia. Luis, we don't speak Spanish in this class. What's wrong with you, child? What makes you different from other people? Don't speak to me in Spanish. The difference of the girl and the boy. No. Why are you different from other people? Luis Harris, are you different from other people? Are you different? Yes. Why? Why are you different? Because the all persons in the world have a... Are you still speaking Spanish, child? We don't do Spanish here. The other persons in the world have what? Come on, you got this, you can do this. Go ahead, tell me. Mm. What do the other persons in the world have, Luis? Luis, that you like the church? He likes what? Carrots. Carrots. I like carrots. Mm? That you like what? Carrots. Sharks. Sharks as in tiburón. Yes. Oh. I like that. Okay. Luis Harris, you like sharks? Yes. Okay, so that makes you different, right? Ah, teacher, teacher. Uh, I like sharks, and and you like uh, the 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 students, the English. Uh, Yay! Okay, so good. <laughs> Luis is different because he likes sharks. Okay. Woo. Okay, people, the thing that you need to remember from this class is this. Number one, we don't speak Spanish in class. Number two, even if you think your, your English is not good, you are here to learn English. If you already spoke brilliant English, you would not even be in this class. You're here because you're going to improve. That's why you're here. Okay, number three, being different is okay. If your hair is different from the people on the internet, Instagram and whatever else, that's okay. If your body is different to the people on Instagram, that's okay. It's wonderful to be different. What is not good is to think that you are not good enough because you don't look like other people or because you don't act like other people. That's not acceptable. Whatever you look like, Whatever your hair looks like, or your skin, or your eyes, or your nose, or your lips, whatever they look like, it's perfect for you. You don't have to think that, oh, I want to be like everybody else. I don't want to be different. Being different is good. 
So as we saw in this movie, in the movie, the girl jumped to conclusion because she did not expect the boy to be different. She thought he was like every other boy. Then she realized that he was different because he couldn't walk and that being different was okay. It's okay to be different. Another lesson that we can get from this movie, okay, wait, I should ask you, because you're the ones who need to practice. Let's see, who has not spoken for a while? Marcela, I know you spoke, for, you spoke a while ago. Emily Valencia, tell me <clears throat> what's one important, another important lesson, because Daniela already mentioned one. Another important lesson that we can get from this movie. That we can judge the people. Okay, that was short. That we can't, can't judge people. Can't. Make sure you pronounce that T because then can sounds like the opposite. Okay, so that's an important lesson. But what about the girl's attitude? What's an important lesson about her attitude? Um, let's see. Nicole, Nicole just disappeared. Where is she? Oh, there you are. Nicole, what would be an important lesson that you can learn from the girl's attitude? We shouldn't get angry without knowing uh, the full backstory. Exactly, and that's really important. Great job, Nicole. A lot of times we get angry because we think people are mean to us or they don't like us or they're judging us or you know whatever and we don't really know what's going on. Like I said, if she had not stopped to look in the bushes and see that he was actually in a wheelchair, he, she would have gone on for probably weeks thinking that he was just a very bad person, but he wasn't, he just couldn't move, okay? So that's a great point. We should not, uh, well, it's jump into conclusions and think bad things about people if we don't really know them. Okay, now one of the things that I have noticed that happened a lot during the, the pandemic and during the months of quarantine is that a lot of adults and, and um, a lot of adults spent a lot of time on the internet just writing horrible things to other people, okay, without knowing the story. People, you're going to be adults one of these days. Don't do that foolishness. That's ridiculous. Don't do that. Okay, before you start making accusations, make sure you know all the story, all the parts of the story. Don't just be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. don't do that. Okay, so one of the things that I noticed during the quarantine is that a lot of people did stuff like that. They would just go on any website, I mean, Panafoto, eh, Rodelac, whatever, and just start typing in these horrible things because they were feeling angry at the pandemic and they wanted to just let that off on somebody else. That's not a good thing to do. That's also an example of jumping to conclusions. If you don't know all the sides of the story, you should not be making an opinion, giving an opinion. Save your opinions for when you know the whole story. Okay, the conclusion of this lesson, three things. It's good to be different. Being different is not bad, okay? If your hair, your, your face, your nose, your skin isn't like everybody else, that's perfectly okay because it's enough, it's perfect for you. That's lesson number one. Lesson number two, we should not jump to conclusions about anything. You have to have all the sides of the story before you do. And lesson number three, lesson number three is that it's always a good idea to find out why people are or how, why they behave the way they behave. In the case in the, of the boy, he didn't get up to help her because he couldn't walk. It's a good thing that she stopped to find out. And in the case of the girl, she couldn't hear him because she was deaf. And it's a good thing that he realized that and he started writing notes to her, okay? Good, so people, uh, two important announcements. Spelling, um, some of you, well, only one of you from this class, you have to do spelling again. I did not say yesterday, yogurt, and ju, and junk. No, I did not say that. I said yesterday, yogurt, you. Go do that again. I'm not accepting no ja, 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 no. That's Spanglish. One, two, uh, important announcement, people. 
you have to speak in this class. It's called oral skills. It's not sit and stare at the teacher. It's called oral skills. I need you to speak, okay? So make sure next time, next Tuesday, you come prepared to talk. Even if you think you don't have the vocabulary, that's not important. You're here to learn the vocabulary, okay? Everybody got that? Do you have any questions? Teacher. No. Yes. I yes. can't use the platform. Send you send me your stuff. Platform, not platform, platform. Send me your stuff to it must be English at gmail.com. Okay? Okay. Any okay. Time the platform goes crazy, you email me. It must be English at gmail.com. Any other questions? Deadline for your spelling and the uh, other thing was yesterday. Okay. If you didn't send it, still send it. I might take a point off. Or if it's really, really good, I won't. So if you haven't sent it, do it, but do it really, really, really good. Okay. So no other questions, no other comments. Okay. People, see you next Tuesday at 10 and come prepared to talk. And if you, no, don't. Okay, come prepare to talk next Tuesday at 10. See you. Bye-bye.